Fusion really has made like massive improvement over the past 10 years. And recently actually the proof of principle was achieved basically at the National Ignition Facility in Livermore. That has given a lot of impetus actually also for people to start thinking about the rest of fusion basically. When you have a fusion power plant, what do you need? You need everything that's ancillary, such as what, what I call the fireplace, right? The material, everything that comes after to be able to take the fusion core that was produced and then transfer that to electricity and heat. Yeah, so Realta Fusion is a fusion energy company. We're spinning out of a large RPE funded project at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. And we're looking at fusion energy as a future source for industrial heat and power. WAM is a magnetic bottle that can hold a very high temperature gas like plasma that's in our sun. And we're hoping to make it hot enough and dense enough that it can produce nuclear fusion energy for mankind that will be abundant, clean, and useful for solving the climate problem. We're holding something that people think about as rubber bands around jello that are trying to squeeze it all into place and the plasma is like the jello that tries to bubble out between the elastic bands and we have something like that that takes place in our plasmas and so making it stable and holding the plasma in place is the biggest challenge. We've assembled here in Madison most of the heating components and they're working enough to get the first plasma going. We've got our vacuum vessel here in place and we're beginning to button it up and get ready. But we're still missing the very high field magnets that are being built by the Commonwealth Fusion Systems and we're hoping that they're going to arrive later this spring to be here just in time for our first plasmas. I went through the first clean tech boom, you know, 10 to 15 years ago with startups, you know, working on low carbon fuels, bio-based materials and so on. So I've, I've been working in this area for a while, but I'm relatively new to fusion. Initially was a bit of a skeptic, so I'm like, is the timeline going to actually matter? And do we need it if we have all of these other things coming online, wind, solar and everything else? I've absolutely become convinced we really do need this and it's imperative that we do this in a shorter time frame than people have historically thought about for fusion. WARF, which is the University of Wisconsin-Madison's tech transfer office, had known me from prior work I've done and so on, and they actually asked if I would be interested in helping Carrie and the team in looking at the commercialization aspects. So part of it as well was they were kind of like, well, you know, get together, see how you guys get along, and maybe, you know, it'll blossom and there'll be a startup that will come out of this as well. And that's obviously what happened. You know, the early masters in our field made enormous progress during the last couple of decades we've been using computers to take that fundamental theory and use it now to predict how fusion devices will, will work. I'm particularly excited about this because I'm able to apply this great history of theoretical and foundational work that you know, has been supported by the government to this problem that has really important technological promise. Putting the two novel magnets that can reach 17 Tesla, you know, small bore, we can do that now. We couldn't do that back 20 years ago. And that's kinda, that really kind of pushes the boundary of what could have been thought back then 40 years ago. We need to be convincing commercial partners that you know, we're making progress, we're working towards something, here's our plan, here's when we're gonna be able to have one of these reactors on your site. The time is right, we've got these new technologies, we've got the capabilities now, and we've got the interest, not just of government agencies funding this, with the private sector now weighing in as well and putting their money where their mouth is and saying, yeah, we see a future for fusion.